Good day and welcome to MCM Online Orientation. I am Charlie Mercedes-Gal Jr. and I will be your host for this afternoon. Before we begin, I would like to inform you of our guidelines for you to follow. First, turn off your microphone and video while the webinar is going on to avoid any overlapping of voices. Only the presenters and panelists are allowed to turn on their microphones and videos during this program. Second, you are allowed to ask questions before, during, and after every speaker had presented. However, these questions will be answered during the question and answer part of the program. Just a reminder, not all questions will be accommodated and answered live. Nevertheless, unread questions will be answered through email or text message. And lastly, an online evaluation will be answered by all our participants after leaving the Zoom. To formally start our program, may I request everyone to pause in silence for our prayer. For the Catholics, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our gracious Almighty God, as we gather in your name today in this webinar, we acknowledge your guiding hand and unfailing love in all the things that we are and strive for individually and as a community committed to excellence and virtue. We look to you for wisdom in all the decisions we make, for the grace in our moments of frailty, for enlightenment in the crossroads of our collective journey, for unity and direction in all our undertakings, and for humility in all our achievements and successes. Through this gathering, may you show us, as we trust in your name, that you are with us in our battles ahead, that you are faithful in leading us to the right path, and that you are gracious in paving the way for the realization of the vision and mission which you have set before us. Humbly, we dedicate this time in your most holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, good day and welcome to the commencement of school year 2020-2021. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, our dear parents, for entrusting us the education of your students and believing to the MCM brand of education. For sure, our learners are already excited to experience MCM Learning Digital. Of course, first in Mindanao. We guarantee you the best education possible, acquiring the DNA of academic excellence that a Mapua school is known for. And with that being said, to give us his welcome address, it's a privilege to introduce to you the President and Chief Executive Officer of the Mapua University, Dr. Reynaldo B. Veya. Good morning to all of you parents and students. Welcome or welcome back to the Malayan Colleges, Mindanao. I would like to tell you the things will be a little bit different this coming school year than they were last year because of COVID-19. I want you to know that the most important consideration in our planning is the health and safety of our students and our employees. This is the reason why even if the Commission on Higher Education or CHED says that face-to-face -face will be allowed starting in August, MCM shall still give the choice of the fully online mode to those who may still be apprehensive of face-to-face. -face. We believe that online education has advantages that go beyond the convenience of anywhere, anytime education, a feature that made it very useful in the past months and will make it still very convenient in the coming months. Academically, online can have features that face-to-face -face may find hard to match. For one thing, the learning management system can accommodate subscription to large databases of electronic materials to which students can have unlimited access. If one is a serious student, this is almost like being a child in a candy store. For another thing, the LMS can also allow the integration of micro-credential courses offered by companies delivering 
Massively Open Online Courses, or MOOCs. Thus, one can graduate from MCM with micro-credentials in specific competencies on top of his MCM diploma. He also earns a badge that may be posted in his LinkedIn account, thus magnifying his prospects of employment. With these academic features, online is not simply for emergency purposes, as we may be want to believe given our recent lockdown experience, but online is also for a rich and enriched learning experience as well. On the other hand, we also believe that face-to-face -face has advantages that online does not. The scholastic interactivity through face-to-face -face cannot quite simply be replicated online. The on-campus college experience, intermingling with friends and mentors, cannot simply be had in cyberspace. Thus, to get the best of both worlds, MCM blends the best of online and the best of face-to-face -to, -face to create its own brand of education that is called blended learning. We are glad to have pioneered that scale the implementation of online teaching and learning in the entire country and in Davao City. Cengage, one of the companies offering large databases of learning resources, last month lauded the Mapua schools as among the best digital-ready universities in Asia. Thank you for choosing Malayan Colleges Mindanao as your school. And once again, welcome. Thank you, Dr. Vea, for that empowering message. Indeed, I definitely agree that MCM has the best of both worlds, considering the optimal LMS that we promise to our students. So today, we will be presenting to you the following topics, which will be discussed by our esteemed speakers. First will be a presentation about the vision and mission of MCM and an introduction about the flexible learning system. This will be followed by the MCM digital portal and lastly, an input about the post-COVID learning protocol. And so without further ado, to share his inputs of the vision and mission of MCM and flexible learning system, please welcome the Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of Malayan Colleges Mindanao, Engineer Dodgy S. Maestre Campo. Okay, I hope everyone can see my screen now. Okay, good day to all uh, participants and uh, welcome to Malayan Colleges Mindanao. I would like to thank you all for uh, taking this time to learn more about us. We have a phrase here, I'm in the now. And uh, this phrase pretty much summarizes the vision of our campus. Ours is a community that is centered on students' success, providing them with exceptional learning experiences and meaningful partnerships for successful careers in the future. Malayan Colleges Mindanao, or MCM, is part of the iPeople Group, a partnership between the Yochengo Group of Companies and Ayala Corporation, two of the most progressive and future-oriented conglomerates in the Philippines today. MCM is also the sister school of Mapua University, thus sharing the same characteristics of quality education and passion for excellence. Part of the group is National Teachers College, one of the leading higher learning institutions on teachers' education in the national capital region. Malayan Colleges Laguna, the best performing private higher educational institution in the Calabarzon region, and University of Meba Caceres, one of the most distinguished universities in the Bicol region. To provide its students with an exceptional learning experience, Malayan Colleges Mindanao has set up the best physical and virtual learning facilities in Davao City. MCM is equipped with the most modern laboratory facilities on campus and 
a superior online digital learning portal, which we call MCM Digital. With the internationally recognized system of education implemented in all Mapua schools, we are confident that our graduates will be well prepared to successfully hurdle licensure examinations and employment challenges. In fact, in the recent survey conducted by Job Street, graduates of Mapua schools are one of the most highly paid professionals in the country. MCM's vision and mission direct towards achieving this goal. Provide opportunities that would allow our students to acquire the knowledge, skills, and values needed to launch their careers for individual prosperity and economic development. At this point, allow me to discuss the MCM's flexible learning system. The said system enables MCM to hold classes remotely and efficiently while in quarantine and afterwards to transition smoothly to on-campus classes once allowed. You are familiar with the face-to-face -face classroom learning. For now, this is not yet allowed. Through this flexible learning system, MCM can do learning remotely. Once allowed, face-to-face -face learning can combine with remote learning and the system is called blended learning. Now for remote learning, it can be internet-based or non-internet-based activities. For the non-internet-based remote learning mode, it can be in print forms, kits, or stored electronically in devices. Any or a, or a combination of any of these methods will be employed if internet connectivity is an issue. For the internet-based remote learning, it can be downloadable, allowing students to disconnect to the internet after downloading the learning contents. It can also be online, which requires a continuous internet connection to access the lessons. The online mode may be synchronous, wherein activities happen in real time, where the learners and teachers are interacting in a virtual space or it can be asynchronous or what we call self-paced, where learning occurs at the learner's preferred schedule. MCM students and teachers can do all these internet-based remote learning activities using MCM's learning management system called MCM Digital. MCM Digital is a web-based learning portal that is powered by Blackboard Learn, the world's leading learning management system. With MCM Digital, all your online courses and learning activities are in just one site. Students can submit assignments and take exams using the same portal. Teachers can keep track of the student engagement and their performances in a course. It also has Grade Center where students can view their grades anytime. It has tools where students and teachers communicate individually or in groups. Its navigation and connectivity tools are very similar to that of social media platforms 
for a comfortable and familiar interface. It has password uh, to secure the site from intruders. And lastly, students may access the site using multiple devices, including smartphones. MCM Digital is a superior online learning platform because it integrates the latest available educational technology tools available in the market. The system allows access to 12,000 ebooks from Wiley and Cengage. Hundreds of thousands of e journals, articles from the leading journals from Elsevier access to more than 4,300 courses from more than 290 universities and companies worldwide through Coursera and 14,000 online courses from real world professionals through LinkedIn Learning. Teachers and students can also meet virtually through Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or Blackboard collaborate. Through this digital portal, MCM can achieve the same learning experience as that of the face-to-face -face mode. Typical activities in the classroom such as lectures, class discussions, examinations, and even laboratory experiments are possible, be it asynchronously, synchronously, or offline. Furthermore, MCM developed the flexible academic calendar to prepare for fully remote and on-campus classes once allowed. As such, Batch A students who are ready to take full remote mode may begin on July 20, and those Batch B students who preferred blended mode or end on-campus classes may start on August 24. Batch B, however, will have to work on a faster pace to make up for the one-month delayed start. Option one will remain in full remote mode for as long as on-campus sessions is prohibited. Students who prefer fully remote system may choose option two. Students may shift from option one to option two or vice versa with corresponding fee adjustment. That is because fully online course fees are lower than on-campus courses. If desired, Batch B may be access may access online courses earlier than August 24. MCM is expecting students to take time in adjusting to remote learning, most notably during the initial months of the term. The extended learning time program will help students to manage this adjustment period by allowing students to continue learning even after the end of the semester. During the extended learning time, students who failed to complete the course requirements by the end of the semester will not receive a failing grade, but a C grade, which means continuing. This C grade can be completed up to the end of the school year without additional charges to the students. In other words, the can pass, cannot fail policy applies during the extended learning period. For example, college students may work on the courses with C grades of the first semester until the end of the second semester. In the same manner, 
students may complete courses with C grades of the second semester up to the end of the first semester of the next school year. Similar system will be implemented for senior high school students. When we hear online classes, usually our first impression of it is the student, the students sit in front of their computers at home and listen to their teachers broadcasting their lessons in real time. For MCM's flexible learning, it's more than that. MCM will utilize the flip learning method wherein direct instruction moves from classroom space to the individual learning space. And the resulting group interaction is transformed into a dynamic interactive learning environment. As such, for remote learning mode, it combines a synchronous or offline mode with synchronous real-time sessions. Students can read lessons, watch their professor's recorded video, or narrated PowerPoint presentations, do other tasks that builds concepts, and take exam examinations, assessment, and performance tasks uh, at their own pace. Live sessions with the professors are utilized for tutorials, inquiries, group discussions, interventions, and remote laboratory work. It will be the same case for the, ben the blended learning mode. On-campus meetings will be spent on summative assessments, laboratory and research works, sports and physical education, and community service activities. Of course, this will depend on the um, guidelines that would be set by IATF and the local government units. In conclusion, we encourage our students to take advantage of these well-planned online learning experiences that are accessible, engaging, flexible, and efficient. This superior learning system is not something born out of the crisis, but a result of years of experience by our faculty members in designing and deploying digital learning modules to students. Once again, good day and thank you for listening. Thank you, Sir Doji, for that insightful presentation. This time, you'll get to be introduced about the exciting features of MCM Digital. To help us with that, Please welcome the Head for the Innovation in Digital Environments and Learning Solutions, also known as IDEALS, Sir Joseph Mikael M. Del Coro. Thank you, Sir Jun. So, good day, everyone. I am Sir Mika, and today I'll be giving you more or less of a semi-tour to what Blackboard Learn or MCM Digital is about. So, I'll be showing you what digital environment your students will, your children will uh, take place in and the different tools that they can benefit from given our service here in MCM. So just to clarify um, some questions that I've seen earlier and also here, uh, reminder regarding the digital bootcamp accounts. So those accounts are not no longer available since they're only available for the during the bootcamp. So your children will be sent their official MCM digital accounts through their personal email. And I'll get to that later. Okay, so I'll just share my screen. Okay, so let me just minimize this and then log out. So what you see here is MCM Digital or M Malayan Colleges Mindanao's learning management system that is powered by Blackboard Learn. So this is the digital environment that your children will be taking part of every single day for this online school year. So in the login page, you can see here that the school will post um, from time to time different announcements regarding important events. And if you want, you can go now to malayanmindanao.blackboard.com 
to look at the online classes FAQs that we release because most of the questions are already answered here regarding batch A, batch B, and the early access and the different um, technical things like forgetting the password, what to do. Okay, so let's log in and experience what your children are experiencing. And I've already seen a question regarding monitoring students' progress and we'll get to that later, Paul. Okay, one more time. Okay, so what you see here is the My Institution page. And in this page, all of the essential things are already here. For example, the announcements provided by the school and by your respective courses. Your courses are here on the right side. And you can also see different tools that they can use. Um, for example, in the calendar, you can set the different tasks that you want to finish, when the due date deadlines are, your grades, and even sending email to your uh, advisor if you are a student. So before we go to what the course is like, I would like you to remind your children that Upon being enrolled, even before being enrolled, starting July 6, we already deployed the Introduction to MCM Digital Training course. So this is an intro course where they can experience what the different tools of Blackboard is like and how to easily navigate, change your profile. So please, please, please remind them if they have not yet started um, to, I uh, know, take this course. It's not really that hard. You can finish this in less than an hour and this will be open until the end of the school year. Actually, I can even open this on, as long as they're enrolled in MCM. So, lahat po nandito and we'll be going through the tools that MCM Digital has to offer. Okay, so let's go to an example course that all of your students are now going through in the college level. English 23 receptive communication skills. So inside a Blackboard course, you might be wondering, ah, puros PowerPoints lang bayan or YouTube videos and things. How interactive can it get? So here is an example of a content area in a certain course where the teacher has provided the general reminders and also has laid out all of the modules that they'll be expecting for the first semester of their school year. So completo na po yan. And all they have to do is just go through it based on their own pace. But the teacher from time to time will give reminders regarding module one. Sana tapos yun ang module one within week one. But it's not really that um, strict when it comes to the deadline. If, especially in case if your internet connection is not that stable. So we'll, we will really understand your situation. So there. So inside the module, for example, let's go to module two, you'll be seeing here that the modules or each part has already been carefully laid out and your student, your children can go through this one by one, part by part, and it really depends on their pace. So you might be wondering, so they're just going to read this, are there videos, how will the teacher even deliver their lesson kung puros ganyan lang? Okay, so let me introduce to you the lecture delivery platform that we are going to use here in MCM. So let's go to another course. So there, this here, these two videos are what you call panopto sessions. So what's a panopto session like? So for our, so for our course module for today, you should already know or you should be able to know how to use vector operations. Okay, I think you get the idea. So I know you've seen videos on YouTube regarding in edit nila na my face sila, edito and everything. So this Panopto tool is convenient for the teachers to deliver sessions wherein it can simulate what a face-to-face -face class, a uh, face-to-face session is like. So as if nasa classroom sila, where the lecture is being seen on the board or in the smart TV, and you can see the teacher talking to you. So how convenient is Panopto for your children? So if in case they ended the day by reading only up to, or uh, watching only up to 4.04, studying up up only until 4.14. And then the next day, they forgot kung saan sila banda. But they remember its slope of the position time graph. So they don't need to just randomly look for that time or that topic. They, Panopto will give them access to go to certain contents of the video. So that's very convenient for them. The slope? To that, or if they're an advanced learner and they know all of those concepts already, they can even go all the way to the last portion. So that's Panopto. And this is just 10% of what Panopto 
can offer. So until we get our full subscription, this will be greater. Okay, so what else is essential in a course that you need to know also to, to remind your children? So in a course, in the course menu, several tools will be available for your children. And most importantly would be the messages and the grades. So let's first go to messages. So here in course messages, I know it's important to keep in touch with your teacher since everything will be online and asynchronous. So monitoring lang po ang mangyayari dito so your student and their professor can exchange messages from time to time here in course messages. So I belong to section 9, so I have to go to section 9 course messages. And then I can simply create a message and send to my classmate or my instructor. That easy. So this is a form of communication that they can use here if you will restrict them from using Facebook Messenger or other forms of communication, if that will distract them from um, achieving their academic goals. So also would be the course grades. So here, I, as a student, Juan Carlos, will only see my grade. And this is the immediate feedback that the course can provide. But so far, all of the quizzes are still upcoming since this is only early access. All of the activities will start after August 24. But there will be activities already loaded that the students can access even if they're from batch B. So that would give them an edge over those who really want to start August 24. Papo. Okay, so a new feature that we added or we integrated in the courses is called the My Groups. So instead of having different sections for all of the different courses and strands, we included all of the enrollees in one course so that they'll have uniform content, uniform assessments. And they can even contact or message their classmates in case they want to have a collaborate session. And I'll explain to you later what the collaborate session is all about. So they can have a group discussion board, they can even sign, assign tasks to each other, they can have a journal and contact each other. Okay, so this is a new feature that's being added to the courses. So for those students watching there, nakasama parents nyo from grade 12 who's moving into college from MCM, so be prepared, you'll be utilizing this, but take note, all of your content will be the same. Okay, so how else do we deliver sessions? Is it only through that panopto? You might have seen here, Collaborate. So what's Collaborate all about? So Blackboard Collaborate Ultra is a tool that students and teachers will use to connect and video call each other in real time. But it can also be used in asynchronous delivery. By that, I mean, if in case your child has missed the session and wants to watch the lecture that they had, prior, uh, after days or weeks or months after that happened, how can they do that and can they? So they can, they can watch recorded sessions. Since we're going to tell our teachers to require to record all of their sessions so that your, your children can go back to them even if they missed them, okay? So simply your, uh, your child will just go to Blackboard Collaborate, go to the recordings, and go to that specific date or month that the recording happened. So mga four months late ako, no mga March pa yun. So yan. So online class happened during uh, March 18, I think. And then I'll simply click watch now. So I've loaded it already. So this is what the Blackboard Collaborate session is like. Very similar to Zoom. This is the teacher sharing their screen. So, wait lang, the audio, let me just reload a little. Okay, so while it's loading, what else is here available in the Blackboard Collaborate session? If you want to see what actually happened or what conversation took place while they were having a Collaborate session, you can simply open this and even see in real time what they were actually talking about. So I think you get the idea. This is a collaborate session where your children can rewatch all the different lessons that, uh, that were conducted um, that you missed. Okay, so I think you might be wondering also, are there other resources in Blackboard or in MCM Digital that your child can avail of? So Sir Doji a while ago mentioned that we have access to over 12,000 eBooks and digital resources. So question, how do you get the whole of that? How does your child get the whole of that? Okay, so upon enrollment, we enrolled all of them in these two courses. 
MCM Digital Textbooks and Wiley Plus Digital Resources. Let's go, let's go to each one and try to explore each one, one at a time. Okay, so simply follow the instructions to open Vital Source Bridge. So this is an online bookshelf that is already connected to their Blackboard account. No need to sign in. Kung nasa browser sila, pag nasa phone, there are instructions. And those instructions are already in this digital introduction to MCM Digital. So all the things they need is all here. So please remind them. Okay, so let's open the online bookshelf. Okay, we're now here at the bridge, so where all the different books are. So as you can see, I've already selected some books that I want to read, but there are, already, there are also other books. You might be wondering, Sir, I've not 12,000, why 10 lang yan? Sige, let's view all. So ayan, so they'll have access to all of this. So even if they belong to engineering, but they want to study about um, human evolution or want to study arts, it's up to them. This is all at their disposal. So how do I actually view one of them? So for example, I want to view 3D animation. I'll simply click activate now. And then once it's activated, I can simply click it and it will redirect me to the um, online, ebook viewer so this ebook viewer is also available on the phone and the, it has a mobile version and your children already know about that okay so, yeah and so it's simply just like skimming through an actual um hardbound book okay so i think you get the idea so putting pretty and online and putting offline so let's go back to the other type of resource that we're providing them the wiley plus digital resources so we have books from Cengage and Wiley, all located here in Vital Source Bookshelf, but we also have Vital uh, Wiley Plus Digital Resources. So let me click the Wiley Plus Digital Resources. So, and I'll explain to you why it's called Wiley Plus. So for example, I am an accounting student, but I also want to study about physics. So I'll go to physics and look for a certain book that I want to study. And for example, let's open How Things Work by Bloomfield. So I've opened it already. It's over here and then there. So this will bring me to my Wiley Plus learning space. So it's very similar to just an ebook that my chapters are and everything. So you might be wondering, what's the plus factor about this? Okay, so let me just open the book again so that it will load properly. Okay. So this is also another reality. In accessing all of these things, you have to have internet connection. So, so far the service is temporarily available. We'll just contact um, the service provider to uh, give us an update on when it will be okay. Okay, okay so unavailable talaga siya. Sige, babalikan lang natin yan. But your, your children already know this and they've explored it already. Okay, so another content provider that we have here in MCM is Coursera. You've seen it, you've heard of it, and how will your students actually access this? So we've already sent to their MCM Outlook emails links to the Coursera website where they can create their own account and then access the courses. So here in Coursera, they have access to over 3,000 different professional courses from 200 international universities and institutions certified to give you these courses and once they finish these courses they will be given certificates of completion so it's not really required that your your child will take this it's really voluntary it's for them to expand their knowledge and this will have no effect on their academic standing at all it's more for certification and crediting so, for example, I am an art student and I want to study more about music. So, I'm going to study or enroll myself in music production in Berkeley College of Music. So, this, this course has four specialization courses. So, let me open it. So, about music production, I can check what it's all about and about the deadlines and what level it will require me and the language, languages available. So, let's go to one of the courses under this specialization. So let me open the art of music production. Okay, so here in the art of music production, I can see how long it will take for me to finish the course and if it's that easy or not. And I can also see what's inside the syllabus. So yan, ilang videos lahat and quizzes ang expect ko if ever I take this course. 
So let's actually go inside the course. I'm already enrolled. So let's take a look at what's inside. So yeah. So as you can see, it's very similar to what we have in Blackboard. You have a course menu here. You can see the grades, the discussion forums, even the messages, and the outline of the weeks that it will take for you to finish the course. So let's start the course. Yeah, and then let's actually... Welcome to the Art of Music Production. I'm Steven Weber, and I'm the founding director of Berkeley's Masters in Music Production, Technology, and Innovation. So I think you get the idea, guys, no? So these are high-quality production cor uh, pr produced courses at your child's fingertips. So there are courses he, uh, the courses that we provide have already been paid for, okay? So these are free to, for them. Okay, so what's another way for us to communicate your children or for for them to communicate professionally amongst each other. So aside from what I've already shown you, this is again, MCM Digital. Because in their emails, they also received an MCM Outlook account. So what's MCM Outlook all about? So Outlook is basically just the Gmail or the Yahoo Mail version of Microsoft. So here, they will have their own email and inbox complete with all the different um, uh, features. And aside from that, we're also offering them access to Office 365. So in case they need to install the latest Office um, applications such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint in their laptop or desktop, they may do so. And they even have access to all of these different things. Okay. And also mentioned a while ago was Microsoft Teams. So what's Microsoft Teams all about? So this can also be used for asynchronous delivery. So far we had yours, we can have this, for example, the Zoom session that we have right now. We can also have your Blackboard Collaborate as I showed you a while ago. And we can also have Microsoft Teams. So let me open Microsoft Teams and give you a small tour of what it's like. So here in Microsoft Teams, I can see the chats uh, that I have with different people, the teams that I have that can be either subjects or courses. And let's go inside one. So what's inside a Microsoft team? Okay, so as you can see here, I can see the different posts given, uh, sent by my classmates. I can even reply to the post. I can also see the different files that have been uploaded in the course. We even have a class notebook and different assignments provided by our teacher inside this course. So obviously, the teacher will also be inside this course and they can use it to deliver lessons as well. And how is that? So here, you can see this camera, if I click it. So I can actually meet now with the students inside this course or even the students can meet each other if they want. So for example, let me create a Kamustahan session. So I can either meet now or schedule it for at a later time. Before we meet now, very similar to Zoom, right guys? So I can turn off my camera, turn it on again, or mute myself, share my screen, raise a hand, or even start a conversation. So very, very, very convenient. So also, you can also record the sessions or meetings that you have here. So just in case, just in case, hindi na kasali yung anak niyo sa session meeting na yun, your recording will be posted here in the posts. So very, very, very convenient. So as you can see, guys, in this new normal, in this online learning class that we have, um, it's not really more of the transfer of learning that's happening in the classroom. It's more of an exploration of learning. So you might be wondering, are we putting your children as a small fish into, out in the ocean with no guidance at all? No. So imagine them as a goldfish inside an aquarium na lang. So as lonely as it may sound, it's at least guided. They're put, they're put within a boundary of what they can only explore. And as instructors and as administrators, we will do our best for them to take advantage of all the tools at their disposal and we will guide them. And regarding the question that was mentioned, is there any way for you to monitor your students' performance and track them? So I'm pleased to announce you that we are in the process of finishing or, or finish, um, completing a project regarding the monitoring feature that you as parents can have inside the Blackboard courses. 
So with that, I hope you enjoyed the different features that we can provide and that you've seen. And please remind your children to please, please, please take the intro to MCM Digital Course. So again, good day, everyone, and thank you for listening. Sir Jun? Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Sir Mika, for that input that you shared. And of course, for those exciting features of MCM Digital. And of course, for, those for that exciting platform that you just made mention a while ago to our parents to somehow monitor their students' performance. According to research, 300 million students worldwide are having their education disrupted due to the spread of coronavirus. And schools and universities haven't faced this level of disruption in generations. But unlike any time in the past, Malayan Colleges Mindanao is one of those institutions that has the ability to continue and deliver quality education and at the same time, the best assurance of safety amidst this pandemic. To share us more input regarding the post-COVID learning protocol, please welcome the Assistant Vice President and a for administration and at the same time, the Head for Purchasing, Security Services, Health Services and Wellness, Inger Engineer Rolando V. Bitor. Take it away, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you for that introduction, uh, Sir Charlie Burr. And welcome again to all parents and guardians participating in this parents and guardians orientation uh, for our school year 2021, 2020-21. Uh, so I was put in charge of setting up the precautionary measures for our, our campus based on the prescription of our concerned government agencies. So there has been much discussion on how to go about this uh, come the time that face-to-face -face classes are allowed. So thankfully, our experts have been untiring and has come up with the, uh, the doable guidelines that MCM has set up. So let me share first my slide to you so I could proceed with my presentation. Okay. So how is MCM set up to mitigate the risk in its conduct of face-to-face -face classes? Um, since we are unable to conduct lectures, class discussion, group work, output submission, examination, laboratory, computing laboratory, and all other uh, activities that are related to face-to-face. -to -face. So what we've actually uh, done is to implement strict on-site learning safety protocols that the government, the local government unit, and other experts have prescribed so that uh, we'll have uh, safe and secure face-to-face uh, -face classes for our students. So I've actually categorized this uh, protocols into four groups. So namely precautionary measures, uh, social distancing, information drive, continual monitoring. So for the first two groups, I've invited some friends from MCM to help me uh, show you how this uh, protocols will be done once face-to-face -face classes are allowed by the government. So let me introduce to you VZ and Dash. So VZ and Dash, take it away. Wait. Sorry about that. Let me just share. Yeah, I forgot to check. Okay. Uh, let's do it again. What you see here are actually pretty much standard precautionary measures already being implemented all over the city. So just like the body temperature check, the mandatory wearing of masks, hand sanitizing, and uh, 
foot bath for our footwear. Also, the health declaration check. So, in our uh, version, we will be using the DSS or the Daily Science and Center Survey. And this will be sent to you through your email every day. So all of you will be issued your ID, MCM ID, so you use this to tap on the turnstile as you go in. Body check is also, or rather body temperature check is also being done as you enter the campus using your vehicles. Whether you're on your motorcycle or in your cars, this will be done uh, by our security personnel as well as the wheel bath for our cars and motorcycles. Our service road will already be a two-way road and so parking along the service road is no longer allowed. So going to the building, uh, the school building will be require unidirectional flow so we have one way for the entrance and exit. We'll be designating entrance doors and exit doors at the school building and even at the admin building. Elevators will still be uh, used by everyone. Uh, when going from floor to floor, except that we'll be limiting the capacity to at most four persons at a time. When using the stairs, uh, we'll still be asked to observe social distancing and most especially use the keep right policy. So we are uh, ensured that the staircase are not overcrowded. We will also be utilizing our fire exits as uh, passageways from traversing floor to floor. So both sides of the building uh, will allow the use of the fire exits. Introducing our new normal classrooms. So seated at least one meter apart. Same thing with our laboratory. So the capacity of both laboratory and classroom have been limited to at most 50% at the time. So extracurricular activities that require mass gathering will not be allowed still. Communal spaces will be limited to 50% capacity. So even when we're at the cafeteria, we'll be asked to maintain distance from each other, even as we eat together. For small communal spaces, we'll have to take uh, our turns uh, in using them. So we ensure that we don't overcrowd or we don't do mass gatherings in a small space. Contact sports like basketball is still pretty much prohibited at this time. And yes, as we go out of the campus, we we'll still follow a new direction flow. So we will be designating again the other gate as our exit gate for pedestrians. And gate number two for our vehicles so that's pretty much our protocols thank you for watching okay, so let me go back to my 
slides. So as shown on the video, we've already made the service road in front of MCM a two-way road, and thus parking on said road is no longer allowed. So we, you may be asking, will, star, uh, will the car stickers be required again as you enter the campus? Yes, this will again be implemented once the government uh, agencies gives a go signal for face-to-face -face classes. So only vehicles with valid car stickers for school year 2020, 2021 will be allowed access into MCM campus. So all the details will be indicated on the application forms uh, once said policy is again implemented. Uh, as for routine disinfection and sa sanitation of MCM facilities, these are already ongoing and will be heightened once face-to-face -face classes are allowed. So air movement in classrooms and hallways will be stimulated by uh, routinely opening of windows during class breaks. For the uh, video, I'd like to thank David, Jake, Brian, Grace, and Direct Joseph for the amateur video you just saw. So indeed, uh, your children will expect a new normal as they come to the campus for their face-to-face -face classes. And do ask them to bear with us as we implement the protocols you've seen. For the information drive of MCM, so the different departments concerned uh, headed by our Center for Health Services and Wellness, uh, comprised of our nurses and physician, will post updates, infographics, government memos, and the like via our website, FB accounts, and on uh, with regards to physical uh, announcement, they will be posting on conspicuous places around the campus. So as we all know, uh, knowledge is power. And by giving you and your children the latest information on the pandemic, we are more empowered to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe without need to panic or be at a loss on what to do. So to continually monitor the MCM's community, MCM community's health status to include students and their families, so we will be sending out daily uh, signs and symptoms questionnaire through their official email accounts. So this will be required for your children to be filled out every day. So our um, CHSW personnel are able to uh, monitor, analyze, and act quickly on uh, any information that uh, may need to uh, be acted on. So this is uh, basically our way of ensuring that your uh, children receive the re, uh, assistance that they need quicker and at the same time, um, we are able to direct them to resources available to them because of their affiliation with MCM. Just like Consulta MD and the like, uh, this will be discussed later on by the next presenter. So more importantly, uh, contact tracing will be quicker as well and easier for the authorities if it becomes necessary. So some of your children may have already received an email uh, when we did the test launch uh, just this week. And if they've responded, then that, that is good. So the official launch of the daily signs and symptoms questionnaire um, will be on the start of classes, which is this coming July 20. So uh, I hope everyone will be on board uh, on this on-site learning safety protocols and I hope that you parents and guardians will encourage your children or ward to extend their cooperation to these endeavors. So let us help each other heal as one. So that's it for my presentation today. Um, thank you very much parents and guardians for indulging me and let's keep our hopes up. You know? As true Malayans, we will continue to be beacons of excellence and virtue even in these trying times and we'll continue to declare to the limit, to the limits we push on. A blessed day to everyone. Sir Jun. Very well said. Thank you, Sir Orbitz. Here at MCM, the safety of our students is our utmost priority. Certainly, precautions are necessary to prevent the potential spread of COVID-19 in any educational institution. Much more here at MCM, we can assure you that our learners will be safeguarded at all costs. At this point, we will start answering your inquiries and questions. And to facilitate this part, I'd like to call on Ms. Anita Ang Sarabia. Ms. Ann? Good afternoon, Sir Joan. Good afternoon. 
Hi, sir, and a beautiful day to us all. I am Anne, and I will be facilitating the Q&A portion of today's online orientation. I know that some of you may have numerous questions in mind, and so the floor is now open for your inquiries and clarifications. So we have until 3.55 p.m. to answer your every query, so please share your thoughts with us. But before we start, kindly direct your attention to the screen. Enter your questions in the Q&A located under your screen or submit your questions or clarifications in bit.ly slash online orientation QA. And questions or clarifications that were not addressed during the live webinar will be answered by MCM through your email. So for everyone's information, our department heads from the Office for Student Services, Admissions Office, Registrar's Office, Accounting Office, Treasury's office and IT office will be with us during our Q&A to address your concerns regarding enrollments, payments, scholarships, gadget concerns, and the like. We are also joined by our college deans and program chairs from the following programs, College of Arts and Science, Alfonso T. Uchenko College of Business, College of Engineering and Architecture, and College of Computer and Information Science to address inquiries regarding curriculum and the like. And so, let's get the ball rolling. Let's go to our first question. On a blended session, live streaming lecture by their instructor is done also, so maybe um, we can hear from our deans. On a blended session, live streaming lecture by their instructor is done also. So maybe one of our deans can address the inquiry. Yes, Dean Joy, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Um, we haven't finalized the rules yet for uh, the blended session, but uh, li live streaming, a lecture, if only about one third of the class is present and the others can uh, observe it through live streaming, that is not an impossible thing to do. So we may consider that soon. Thank you very uh, much. To, uh, add, if I may add. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, so um, for the sessions, it's a combination of uh, remote and uh, on-campus uh, sessions. For on-campus sessions, they have to go to the campus, but this can happen only once face-to-face uh, -face, uh, learning is allowed already by the local government units and uh, CHED. For the uh, remote part, uh, this would be combination of synchronous and asynchronous uh, session. So as asynchronous means that uh, the students can uh, learn uh, and uh, do lessons in his own time uh, and uh, some uh, cases, in some cases, the teacher can also do live streaming for remote sessions under the blended session. Thank you very much, Sir DSM and Dean Joy. Now for our next question, I would like to invite Sir Orbit to um, enlighten us with the inquiry. Regarding car stickers required to enter the school, when is it available and how much? Uh, the car sticker application will only be made available if the face-to-face -face classes have already been allowed. So for all the details, those will be indicated in the application form uh, later on. Thank you very much, Sir Orbitz. Now for our next question, maybe we can um, hear from Dean um, Rachel. In architecture, subjects like design, my output po na drafting and plates. Do we need to go to school to pass those kinds of outputs? Dean Rachel. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon po. Uh, plates and projects, no need to come here to school. You just upload it to, to the MCM Digital of that particular course. Thank you very much, Dean Rachel. Now for our next question, how can the parents monitor the grade of their kids? So any one of our deans? So I think this was answered already a while ago um, during the talk, but let me just re-emphasize. So we're working on a project wherein the parents will have 
um, access and monitoring features inside the Blackboard courses. So eventually, you will have a Blackboard account wherein which you will be able to see the full grade center of your respective child. But if ever the, uh, the college departments also has another system in terms of progress checking, they can as well explain if they have one. Go ahead, po, Deans. Uh, hello. Yes, Dean Rachel. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Dean Joy. Uh, yes. Um, in the past, we have had inquiries from parents about the grades of their children. They were allowed to come to school, but for now, maybe they can email us and um, we, we will um, reveal to them uh, because the inquiry before, bakit po uh, failing yung grade ng student. So if those things are again to be asked to us, we are accessible through email. And even the faculty member can show the record why the student was passing or not in the course. Thank you very much, Dean Joy and Sir Mika. Now for our next question, for new students outside Davao Re region, do you have accredited or recommended dorm re dormitories or boarding houses or apartments? In any case, face-to-face uh, -face classes is already allowed. Sir DSM, may we hear from you? Um, this is about dormitories. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, we have actually, we, we can uh, just send us an email. We can recommend you some uh, uh, dormitories that uh, we've uh, uh, previously recommended last year. But I think we have to recheck that again because of the current situation now. Uh, we, we may have to uh, uh, do another rounds of uh, checking. No? Uh, just send us an email so of your of uh, of your contact number so that when we are already ready to give you the list of the accredited dormitories or recommended dormitories, we can uh, send them to you. Oh, Thank by you the way, uh, yes, uh, Anne, no, just to remind everyone, because I've been answering this, no, if uh, uh, in case uh, blended learning was uh, is already allowed, but you feel that your uh, children uh, would be safer at home, you can continue with remote learning. Uh, so we will allow uh, full remote learning until the end of the semester if you prefer uh, to do learning uh, remotely you know, uh, other than uh, going to the campus. Thank you very much, Sir DSM. Now, for our next inquiry, I would like to invite Mamrika to help us. Um, regarding the miscellaneous fee, since I enrolled in Batch A, shouldn't it be the same as summer where no miscellaneous fees were asked since we are going to be fully online anyway? So, Mamrika, may we hear from you po? Um, there will still be miscellaneous fees even if with Batch A because um, there will be miscellaneous fees for a fully online mode. They will see the fees in the second page of the assessment that was set by the registrar. Thank you very much, Mamrika. Now for our next question, my daughter enrolled on remote learning, which is in offline class batch A. How can we be able to get the learning materials or the modules? We are from Bukidnon and we cannot go there in Davao City. How can we send back her modules and assessment too? So anyone from our panelists? Uh, I think I can answer that. Yes, sir. Yes, um, I, do, I don't know if they have weak connectivity or no connectivity at all. If we are just talking of weak connectivity, we can send you the, the modules uh, through email. Also, if you have connectivity, uh, even weak connectivity, you can access the MCM Digital and download all the materials when you have the connectivity or you have the connection. Uh, and then uh, 
uh, you can go back later no, from, uh, and access the downloaded lessons uh, through the uh, MCM uh, browser no, or, or the browser uh, using your computers or your tablets. Uh, now, if there's really no connectivity, um, not even emails, um, you can, uh, we can send you by a courier or uh, printed documents, no? courier, or we can send you USB uh, drives you know, uh, to, to your uh, location. Thank you very much, Sir DSM. And Sir, uh, there is a question for you po. Um, you responded daw po a while ago regarding a previous question by saying that this year, it is going to be semestral instead of trimester. Can you please expand more on this? Is there a change in the courses that were offered because of the different mode on learning? Um, well, in principle, if you look at the whole school year, there should not be any difference in terms of the courses. Because uh, for a trimester, it's just three courses, three terms per year. So when in the semester, we, that would be two, sem two SEMs in a school year. So um, before, we only, we only allow 15 units per term. So there would be a total of 45 units per school year. Uh, but this year, since it's a semester, we will allow up to 24 units uh, per semester. So if you add that up, uh, the students can enroll up to 40, 48. No? So the curriculum uh, before just divides the school year into three. Now uh, we divided it into two. So if you look at the list of courses, they would be the same. Thank you very much, Sir DSM. Now here's another question. Is there a scheduled time where teachers will be sending activities to the students in a day through Blackboard? Like it will only be until 10 p.m. because students may opt to wait until midnight to check if the teacher had already uploaded the task to the student. So anyone from our panelists? Uh, may yes, I enjoy. Try? Okay. Uh, since our college take care of the general education many of your children may be taking them this semester so um we do not limit the access to all the modules that have been uploaded the students can access them um the whole time okay kung gusto nila sa umaga sa hapon or sa gabi sila mag access they can do it. Um, there are only the, the final exams later on that will have time limits. Yung, the access will be good for three hours. Yun po ay para na yun sa huli, yung final exams. But uh, yung mga activities natin at the start, we don't limit them. Um, I have instructed the professors that um, we, we do not uh, uh, give deadlines for now because the students will be doing the task in their own time, self-pacing. Merong mabibilis, merong hindi kasing bilis, kaya wala, wala po kami ngayong ilalagay ng mga deadlines. So, siguro, I've heard these questions in the past, yung mag upload yung teacher ng something, activity, tapos kailangan isa submit before midnight. Uh, yun yung mga nangyayari in the past. Right now, we do not uh, impose that or implement that kind of deadline in the module. Good afternoon, Dean Dada. Yes, Dean. Yes, Dean. CIS. If I may add, we also have this uh, deployment of activities that we call adaptive release. So, uh, ang student po, hindi makaka uh, punta sa next uh, lecture topic if hindi nila na finish yung previews. So, baka po magtaka na hindi pa nila nakikita yung activities 
nasusunod kasi po pala hindi pa tapos yung previews. Uh, anyway, the instructors will give orientation on their courses. Malalaman po nila if their activities are adaptive. Thank you. Thank you po, Dean, Dada, and um, Dean Joy. I, I'd also like to add... Hi, sir. Hi, Dean JP. I, yes, uh, on the part of ano, kasi baka merong parents that are may, ano, may mga students enrolled in, ano, in the College of Business, that um, yun din, we will also be adopting adaptive release as well. So yun, ganun. The, the whole mechanic is like that. So that means that they'll, they'll have it will be subdivided probably it'll probably see um it being divided into little folders ganon mga subfolders week 1 week 2 and stuff like that and then kaya lang yung access non the content may already be there but they cannot have access to it yet until a certain time period uh, so ganon yung ano ganon yung magiging uh, ano niyan in order to ano to somewhat safeguard them from being confused na baka nag week 2 na siya and then wala pang week 1 ganun. So it's also to ensure that there will be an orderly ano early orderly pace of learning for the students. Thank you. Thank you very much Deans. Now for our next question, is there any one-on-one -on -one meeting as well for the teachers and parents as to the progress and any issues related to the student in every quarter or end of semester? So anyone from our team? Uh, maybe I can just answer that. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, even in the face-to-face -face session, we don't do that anymore for college because uh, we already consider that uh, the students are already adult and will be responsible for their own learning. So uh, I think um, that would be applicable only for our senior high school, but for college, we don't normally uh, meet with parents. Um, but if the parents have some issues and concerns, uh, definitely uh, the department through its dean or uh, uh, program uh, chairpersons can uh, um, um, answer some inquiries from the parents. But we don't do, because this is already college, uh, higher education, we don't uh, do regular meetings with the parents of the students because we already assume that the uh, students are already mature enough so that they can be responsible for their learning and for their education. Thank you very much, Sir DSM. Now for our next question, um, we applied through online. How can we pay our obligation? Mamrika, may we hear from you? For payments, they can come here in school for over-the-counter and they can also pay via M. Lulier and through our RCBC bank account. Details are in the MCM website. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mamrika. Now, here's another question. Um, will there be no deduction points in regards to late submissions? Maybe hear from our deans. Uh, hello. Hi, Dean Joy. Okay. Um, there are some tasks wherein the students are allowed multiple submissions, maybe three submissions all in all. Uh, some teachers will just uh, place maybe uh, on the second submission, meron siya ng bawas na 5%. In the third submission, meron na siyang bawas na 10%. But, uh, uh, ma maliit lang po yun. <laughs> uh, however, uh, I, I did not uh, encourage my faculty members to reduce the uh, incoming ano, mga submissions, yung late submissions to say 50%. That's too much. Parang uh, pinapatay na yung <laughs> students with that. Um, we also, right now, we do not have deadlines on the task because we are again uh, adhering to the self-pacing of the students. Kaya gagawin niya yon in his own time. At wala doong bawas. Meaning, pag nahuli siya yung kanyang kaklase nag-submit na two days ago, siya ngayon palang magsasubmit 
okay pa rin. Walang bawasyon. Okay? Sa, sa ganong paraan. Because we do not set deadlines on the task for now. Yun na yun. At the end of the semester, meron ng mga deadlines yung professors. Maybe by October or November, kailangan nang mag-submit yung mga bata. Thank you very much, Dean Joy. Now, for our next question, in my daughter's case, we chose to have a module through a career. So, how do we know that you send the material already? Included na po ba ang mga quizzes and assessments sa module na ipapadala? We prefer to have a printed materials and USB. Okay, uh, maybe you have to inform us of uh, the details, no? where we're going to send it. We have not sent it yet no? because uh, we're still uh, getting the list of students who would have difficulty in uh, uh, assessing the online modules. However, we, if uh, you have, as mentioned, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, if you have uh, a connectivity that allows email, uh, maybe, Perhaps we can send it through email so that uh, uh, there will be no uh, time delay as far as uh, receiving uh, of the materials, uh, learning modules are concerned. Thank but, you very uh, much. If, uh, but if okay. uh, there's really no internet, um, please let us know so that uh, we can uh, prepare the learning modules uh, for, for you. Thank you, sir. Sir, so here's, uh, here's another question po. Um, DepEd has adopted the MELC. Is there something similar to that in higher education? What is the assurance that if until the end of the semester, there is still no face-to-face, -face, what is the assurance that the skills that they should master or attain will not be sacrificed or affected? Okay, so for college, we do outcomes-based education. So this is equivalent to the competency list of uh, DepEd. Now, outcomes-based education is already embedded in the design of the learning modules. In fact, if you are going to visit the course site of our uh, uh, faculty, uh, you will see there that uh, it, the lessons are, uh, are segregated according to outcomes. So at the end of the semester, we will be uh, assessing whether the students can have demonstrated the learning outcomes that uh, we've set. Only then we will give them the passing mark. You know? So they have to demonstrate that these outcomes are already attained. Thank you very much, Sir DSM. Now for our next question, uh, may I invite Ma'am Lizelle Lopez to answer po regarding um, tuition fee. Um, we have two children enrolled in MCM. When is the 10% discount be applied? I think you are referring to a sibling discount. Uh, number one, it's very important for us that we have to make sure that um, yung kapatid niya na enrolled first, uh, it would be in the senior high school or in college department. And secondly, you need to submit the uh, PSA as one of our requirement for that particular discount. So if you did not receive any confirmation yet, kindly send us an email through scholarship at mcm.edu.ph. Thank you very much, Ma'am Lizelle. Now for our next question, if there will be prerequisite before proceeding to the next module, therefore there should be a deadline in a respective module. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can hear from one of our deans. I think they're referring to the adaptive release Dindada, can you please answer that? Yes, sir. Um, adaptive release po is that the previous topic is essential to the next. So the student needs to finish the previous module first so that they may understand the next topic. No deadline po. It depends on the student's pacing. It is not dated. It is when the previous topic is finished. So if natapos na po yung previous module niya, automatic po mag-open yung next. Hindi po siya date na kailangan tapusin today and then open agad. Hindi po. Kung kailan niya po matapos, ma-open ang next release. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dean Dada and Sir DSM. 
Now, for our next question, uh, with all these questions asked and were answered, will it be possible to have a copy of this as well as the presentations of the different presenters? Uh, yes, we will be, this, this session is recorded and we will be posting this uh, on our uh, website and uh, also the students can view this in uh, MCM Digital. Thank you very much, Sir DSM. Now here's another question. Me and my son are li living here in Japan and due to COVID, we are not able to go back in the Philippines. Is there any kind of support the school is having for students learning from abroad? Are, are, I'm, I'm not sure. No. Again, sorry. Uh, I think uh, they're saying that if uh, we can, uh, we can still uh, support uh, online learning. Uh, yes, uh, if that's the case, yes. Uh, in fact, we're we are already preparing um, um, remote uh, learning even un until the second semester for for the, for the for the offering of courses in the second semester. So those who who still prefer remote uh, learning mode, even if uh, the face-to-face -face classes has already been allowed, they can still do remote learning. Uh, this is uh, for the whole school year. Thank you very much, Sir DSM. Now for our next question, I would like to invite Sir Orbitz to help us enlighten. Um, during face-to-face -face session, what are the health requirements for students who are coming from the different places in Mindanao? Actually, I was already asking it. So anyway, um, we will still be following what the De Department of Health uh yung algorithm ng the department department of health has uh come up with so whatever is uh prescribed is uh the policy that we'll be implementing so again uh, as you've seen in the video uh we'll be doing the uh basic the body temperature check uh the declaration for the daily signs and symptoms and uh all the like so as long as uh we are abiding by that then the student may be allowed to uh, join the face-to-face -face classes. So as long as uh, there are no symptoms that fall under those categories. So you may refer to the Department of Health uh, website or any of their updates, or, or even in the MCM website, COVID-19 updates for uh, references to your question. Thank you very much, Sir Orbit. Now for our next question, may I invite Sir Danny, the IT head, to enlighten us with this inquiry. Until when is the deadline for the ordering of laptop? How about if we buy a desktop instead? Sir Danny. Oh, okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. The ordering of laptops for our suppliers is still ongoing. You could get the details of the provider in our Facebook page so that you could uh, place your orders there. And then if you like to buy a desktop, uh, I believe the suppliers have also options for this, pero um, it might be, uh, well, it's quite difficult to use the desktop if it's going to be mobile, but you could definitely use the desktop. Thank you very much, Sir Danny. Now for our next question, um, how many exams would our children take within the semester? Would exams be online too or they are going to come to MCM for the said exam. So anyone from our deans? Hello, good afternoon. Hi, uh, Rachel. College of the Engineering and Architecture. So we have the formative assessment and the summative assessment. So for the formative assessment, we have the practice task, the uh, case study. And then for the summative ass assessment, we have the long exam one and long exam two and the final exam. So for the on uh, exams would be online, yes, it is fully online. So for exams that are not going to conduct to MCM. So if given a chance that we have the face-to-face, -face, so the final exam will be here at MCM. But if it is not, so it, it will be supervised online. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dean Rachel. Now for our next question, I would like to invite Ma'am Rika and Ma'am Lizelle Lopez to 
answer us. My son has received an academic scholarship discount of 100% on tuition fee, but he has to pay the miscellaneous fee. I have already paid 4,000 pesos on enrollment. So I suppose this has to be deducted from the mis miscellaneous fee. Um, may I answer first, uh, Mon Ang? Yes, uh, I think because we have a lot of academic uh, type of scholarship, it can be academic excellence, uh, rank one, rank two, we have academic achiever. We need to identify what, what type of scholarship you are referring. So you can send an email to scholarship at mcm.edu.eh. Thank you. Um, and I would like to answer also. Uh, yes, ma'am, we can. Okay, if the academic scholarship means that it's a full scholarship and yes, they would have to pay for the miscellaneous fee, the down payment of 4,000 would have to be 2,100 uh, 2, for the digital learning materials and the rest is for the balance and that would be, a pro I would have to assume it's the miscellaneous fee. I, I would, um, please email na lang treasury at mcm.edu.ph so we could check the account. I don't have the student name, so I can't say for sure. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ma'am Lizelle and Ma'am Rika. Ma'am Rika, we have a follow-up question po. Um, please clarify the fees under the miscellaneous fee, like the infrastructure fee, LMS fee, health services, campus life program, ELC fee, drinking water fee, guidance counseling fee, since the student is staying at home all the time. Okay, um, as I said earlier, if it's fully online, the fees would be in the second page of the assessment that was provided by the registrar's office. So for fully online, there will no longer have a fee for campus life and drinking water. But the infrastructure fee is for the IT infrastructure that we need for the online learning. The LMS fee is the payment for the MCL digital or the Blackboard, which, will, which they will use again for online learning. Health services, uh, uh, health services and guidance counseling will be provided online as well. That's why we cannot remove those fees. The ELC fee is for the English learning test that they will have to take before graduation. Thank you. Did I answer everything? <laughs> yeah, more or less that's it. For more clarification, please email treasury at mcm.edu.ph. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Ma'am Rika. Now for our next question, will there be a real-time Zoom classes for students who are still outside the Philippines? I think I've answered that uh, already. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Um, well, the the professor will schedule the the uh, synchronous session based on the Philippine standard time. Meaning, uh, it should not be because we've uh, we it would not be fair for the students, for example, uh, to set uh, or to ask them to uh, participate uh, uh, on uh, sessions uh, beyond the. Uh, for example, beyond uh, 8 p.m. You know, or earlier than 7 a.m. Uh, however, the good thing about uh, the synchronous sessions is, is we are requiring all our faculty members to record their synchronous uh, sessions in Zoom, in Teams, or in Collaborate, and later upload them on the course site so that the students who were not able to participate can still view and listen to the discussion made uh, previously. Thank you very much, Sir DSM. Now for our next question, is there a discount on ordering the laptop? Um, Sir Danny, may we hear from you? Uh, the discount is actually for cash, uh, cash basis in most cases. However, the provider, uh, particularly for Lenovo, uh, provided us with a good discounted rates. So I do suggest that you take a look at our Facebook page to get more details on what's available. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Now for our next question, knowing that the course or activities of the students is self-facing, do you still provide suggested schedule for their activities? So maybe we can hear from one of our deans. 
Yes. Um, yes, Ben John. Okay. Um, there, there was a question yesterday from the students. It was related to this about scheduling. Because uh, in the past we had NWF classes, DTHS classes. Now we no longer do that in a fully online course because uh, they they will be doing their their own thing. Uh, they can access it anytime. But um, maybe just so uh, we can help the students manage their access on the course sites. Um, but three units kasi yung uh, course, uh, we allow about three hours lecture class kung face-to-face yun. So maybe the students can also have a timetable na I have four uh, three unit courses, so bawat uh, a class doon, kung may three hours ako per week, maybe I can manage yung pacing para per week yung access. Kasi pag tinitingnan mo lahat yun, napakahabang ano, oras. Uh, the students have also to rest their minds para hindi naman sila ma-stress out. So, Pag merong two units na course, mga two hours per week yung kanyang class time, but additional practice sessions can also be done. So maybe I would suggest na you try to teach your uh, children paano nila ma i, uh, may tam timeline sila per week for the courses that they are enrolled in. Yun lang po yung may advice ko kasi hindi na po kami mag-schedule talaga kung anong oras. But for the synchronous sessions that we will be giving to our students, uh, we will have a system here in MCM na hindi po magkakasabay-sabay kaming magbigay ng synchronous se uh, sessions, especially for the freshmen. Okay, mag-usap-usap uh, kami kung kailan magbigay ng synchronous session, ang English, ang ibang uh, humanities, social sciences para walang conflict. We will do that. Thank you very much, Dean Joy. And Dean Joy, um, here's a follow-up question po. How many exams po in one semester? It depends on the course. Um, Meron kasing uh, differences yung mga mathematics, sciences courses in terms of the number of assessments. But uh, generally, for those types of uh, courses we have in the past, meron tayong prelim, midterm, and then final exams. So, um, average of three major exams. Thank you, Dean Joy. May we hear from other deans po? Dean Dada, Dean Rachel, Dean JP. Hello, Dean Dada for CCIS. Uh, in our case, we normally make summative assessment per, per course outcomes. Each uh, course has different number of course outcomes. So, depende po sa course niya kung ang pin present po ng teacher is tatlong course outcomes, tatlong exams po yun. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dean. Yes, Dean Rachel. For the College of Engineering and Architecture, so the same with the CIS, we have three, long exam one, long exam two, and final exam. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Rachel. Uh, for the, all right. Um, for the College of Business, we will also be adopting three major examinations then as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Dean JP, and to all our deans. Now, for our next question, um, I would like to invite Sir Orbitz. How uh, the online medical will be done for those who are fully online students? How can they avail it? Thank you. Uh, actually, Mom uh, Lizelle will be uh, better uh, position to answer that regarding the consulta presentation earlier. Noted, sir. Okay. Um, uh, MCM is partnered with Consulta MD, so uh, uh, 
Uh, in Consulta MD, uh, our students could access 24-7 immediate access to our licensed Filipino doctor. Uh, they can also do the consultation by, by a video consultation, by a mobile or desktop. Uh, the students will receive an e-prescription via SMS. They will also receive the e-laboratory uh, uh, laboratory request via SMS. And uh, this Consulta MD also is exclusive access to various discounts and benefits from industry partners such as Generica, Family Doc, Aid, and more. And how does it work? MCM will pre-register all of its students and employee for free of charge. This is for free of charge. And uh, after that, they can call the Consulta MD hotline uh, for mobile phone. We have 79880 mobile. For landline phone, we have 02. Uh, seven seven nine eight eight thousand for landline. Okay, um, we also posted announcement on this on our MCM website. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mom Lizelle and Sir Orbitz. Now for our next question, I am residing outside the country. I am just wondering if I can access as well the MCM digital platform of my son. Uh, Mika, I think uh, we can tell them our plans about uh, monitoring. No problem. So regarding that, no matter where you are in the world, as long as you have internet connection and you have a search engine, you can simply access malayamindanao.blackboard.com. And then regards to your concern, um, we are preparing a, pla uh, a project in which you will be granted a Blackboard account, which will have access to only your child's mm, grades and different tasks. Yun po. So it's in the making. Po. We will announce, we will update you as soon as the project is ready to be implemented. Thank you, Maman. Thank you very much, Sir Mika. Now for our next question, how are you going to handle PE subjects and other extracurricular activities? May we hear from our deans? Okay, uh, the College of Arts and Science offered the PE courses. Um, for the first semester, I have asked all the programs to uh, transfer the PE courses to the second semester because we are still preparing for the mode of delivery of PE, but it's not impossible to, to offer it online. So yung assessment lang, ang pinag-uusapan namin ngayon, how we can assess that those uh, skills in PE have been attained. So we will start offering PE by the second semester. Thank you very much, Dean. Now for our next question, um, related to extra courses through Coursera, would it have extra cost? Sir Mika? Um, just to ask, by extra courses, would you mean or would they mean accessing courses that were not offered by MCM? If ever, ganun po, yes, there will be extra courses, but maybe we can set up something if you really, if we can evaluate the course in the future and we think that it's vital also for them, maybe we can subscribe to the course and make it available for your children po. Thank you very much, Sir Mika. Now for our next question, aside from laptops, what are the other requirements or materials for a mechanical engineering student should have and prepare that will be used in each course? So maybe we can hear from Dean Rachel. Okay, since we move all the laboratory courses for the second semester, so it's all lecture courses offered for the first semester. So it's only laptop in the presence of your children. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dean Rachel. Now for our next question, as a parent, how can we acquire a dashboard link? The access will be sent to our email. Sir Mika? Um, what did they mean by dashboard? Maybe it could be Malayan, maybe the ano, yung sa MCM Digital. So for anyone who wants to access um, 
MCM Digital, you will need an account po. So, so far, ang may accounts lang po ay yung mga anak nyo po. So, to go to the login page, simply type in malayanmindanao.blackboard.com and then use the account credentials that we provided your children to go inside the dashboard or the My Institution page. So, only those with accounts will have access po. Thank you very much, Sir Mika. Now, for our next question, I would like to fully pay the tuition of my son. He will be taking the full online option. Will the cost that was sent is the final amount? Maybe we can ask Ma'am Rika. Uh, yes, the cost in the fully, on, fully online mode and under GSA is already final. Thank you very much, Ma'am Rika. Um, another question um, is, uh, do parents have access to our children's progress of their studies? So I think this was also answered a while ago already. So start, baka hindi lang po narinig. Um, there will be a way eventually that we will provide, again, you, you, the parents, access to Blackboard, but limited access to the point that you can only access the um, grade center and the different tasks that your children have uploaded and submitted. But regards to um, performance with their teachers and I know, actually it's practically the same thing. So what you see um, with their, in the dashboard and in the user interface that we'll be providing is everything that they submitted in the course. So you will see if they have um, uh, submitted an assignment or uh, took the quiz and their exact score. So as of now, wala pa po. Eventually, we will update you once the project is completed na po. Thank you very much, Armika. Now here, uh, for our next question, may we hear from Engineer Rachel, Dean Rachel. How about for architecture students, what are the materials needed for the first semester? Dean Rachel. Okay, so for the first year, since it is only for the basic design, so paper, pencil, tracing paper if they have they can buy the sketch pad or if they have the table in their house so okay na yun. Thank, thank you. you very much dean rachel now basically that's it no so once again we would like to thank everyone uh, for all your inquiries and we appreciate your very active participation in our question and answer now again if you have more questions in mind you may send it on the link provided and we will try to address your inquiries through email so i will now give back the floor to today's host sir june lingay thank you ma'am Anne. so there you have it thank you so much for your participation and again for believing in the mcm brand of education please do not forget to answer the evaluation which will be open as soon as you leave the webinar once again thank you and stay safe